Deputy Prime Minister Dr. Ernest Hilaire has pledged to remain relentless in the pursuit of peace, echoing concerns about a surge in crime and violence affecting St. Lucia and many other nations. We have to understand the impact that crime has on our society. We need to be very clear that for our country to move forward, for us to ensure that our citizens can live civilized standards of living, that our society can develop, we need to ensure citizen safety. And the persons that are involved in criminal activity should take note that we are not going to surrender. Hilaire says while the issue of crime and violence poses great difficulty, far too much is at stake for the island to cower at the actions of a few unscrupulous criminals. It is challenging, it is difficult, but we're not going to give in. Because to do so is to lose our country, to lose exactly who we are as a people and what we, what we exist for. So we have to control it. And persons that are involved in crime should take note that we're not going to surrender. It's not going to be easy. Echoing Prime Minister Philip J. Pierre, Deputy Prime Minister Dr. Ernest Hilaire emphasized the distinction between government policy and Royal St. Lucia Police Force operations in combating crime. If it reaches a point where the police believes X, Y, and Z should be done, as mentioned by you, it is for ourselves as policymakers to respond and support them. Um, we cannot tell the police what their operational responses should be. We can share the concerns of citizens with them. We can share with them the, 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 the feeling that our population, the citizens, are, are expressing, and to ensure we push them to to, to, to undertake the tasks in the most efficient and effective manner. Deputy Prime Minister Dr. Ernest Hilaire urges law-abiding citizens to support the Royal St. Lucia Police Force while condemning those involved in criminal activity. So persons who are involved in criminal activity cannot be seen as our allies. They cannot be seen as persons that should get a free pass. They have to be held accountable. And we must support the police to make sure they have the capacity to be able to deal with those situations. I mean, all social problems individuals have, there must always be a way in which government can support them to ensure we address it. I'm not saying people don't have social problems, but we have to find a way as a government, as a society, to address those uh, you know, social problems. But it cannot descend into total lawlessness and chaos. We will not allow that to happen. With 19 homicides recorded in the first two months of 2024 in St. Lucia, anxiety mounts among residents who are calling on all organizations, entities and political parties to find sustainable solutions to the crime and violence issue. Solange Alfred, HTS News Force.